Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. Today, I would like to give you an update about one of my favorite software testing tools on the market. You have seen it in the title. I'm going to give you an update about Maestro. For those of you who are following my channel for a while, know that I'm a big fan of Maestro. Maestro for mobile test automation. I did a couple of videos, you will find them up here or down below in the video description about painless mobile test automation. And from my point of view, Maestro did a really great work for us as a community. And if you don't know about Maestro and how you can do mobile testing with it, I highly recommend you to check the videos down below to get an idea about the capabilities of Maestro on mobile. However, now we can all also test web applications with Maestro. Before it was only available for mobile devices, mobile apps, and now it's in beta status and you can also test your favorite web product. And that's pretty cool. And that's what I would love to do and to show you hands on in today's video. So to keep in mind, whenever you pick a tool, make your own decision and uh, selection criteria before you pick a tool. Not the latest hyped tool might be the right tool for you. So make a selection list, check your tech stack and what is needed for your project and for your product situation and then pick the right tool. However, one thing that you should always have on your list when picking a tool is simplicity of the tool. And here, from my point of view, Maestro ticks all the boxes because it's super easy to install. Like from installing to running your first test, it takes less than a minute, I would say. For me, I was just like downloading it, running the command and I was good to go basically. I prepared that for you already for this video, but I checked there, I did the same thing for the mobile part. So go ahead and see how easy it is to install. But I will show you in a second how uh, you can do it on your own. So first of all, let's take a look on the website of Maestro and what it has to offer for you. Hey, before we start with the main video, I would like to thank you the following companies for their support. They support me through the YouTube membership program that I created for companies who care about software testing and are active in supporting the testing community. Thank you once again. If you want to learn more about the supporters, check the video description down below to find the links to their products. If you miss your logo on this page, follow the QR code or send me an email. Happy testing and now back to the main video. So, as you can see here on the screen, this is the Maestro landing page. So, and we can, if we also go on the, on the, on the introduction page of maestro.mobile.dev, you can see like a little introduction like, hey, what is Maestro? You get an idea on how to write your tests, uh, test files in YAML format and then to launch it vice versa on an app and to test it right away. And if you scroll down on the left hand side to web desktop browser, this is pretty new. So what you can see here is now finally you can do web testing with Maestro. You get again examples like how to use it um, and how to start Maestro Studio and stuff like that, all the commands. So for example, if you click on the command section, you can see all the commands that you can enter either on app or on, on, on the website as well. So that's pretty cool. So I really recommend you to check out the documentation because it's really straightforward and easy to use. Before we dive into the hands-on part, I will show you quickly the instructions, uh, inst installing instructions. So depending if you're running it on a Mac or on a Windows, here are a few instructions. So for example, if you are running this command, like a curl command in your command line interface on Mac, Linux or Windows, you download the latest Maestro version. And that's basically it. You get it, you run it, or you can use also use Homebrew, for example, on a Mac. And then you have uh, everything installed. There are a few more installation instructions that you have to do. But that's basically it. For me, on a Mac, it took me less than a minute to have it up and running. But without going further into details on how you can reach the documentation stuff and where to find everything, go ahead, check the links down below to find all the details about how to install Maestro, how to use the commands. But now I would like to show you hands on how to write your own 
web test with maestro so as always as an example product i love to use the practice software testing.com website it's a fake web shop basically where you can order some yeah some craftsman tools and stuff like that and that's perfect for trying out new testing tools so and as you can see here we have a, a just a, like a normal like text editor in my case um, i'm using this this tool here and what you have what you can do as a first step is you define the url so i already copy pasted uh, over the the url this tells maestro which um, software under test you would like to to test basically and then the first command that you add is basically the launch app command yeah and then as you can see here's a uh, here is a um a command line uh, interface and then you can run your maestro test and you can just say i think i have it already over here okay we have the studio you can say like maestro call the maestro command say test and then you give it name in this case it's called demo dot yaml and then you just hit the enter button then it says hey yeah web support is in beta give feedback i highly recommend you to do so and then it take a few seconds then there is chrome coming up you can see the instruction we were executing the launch app you're calling the url and would and it was also already seen in the in the chrome browser here so we closed it for a second so let's do some more testing so let's 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 click uh, on the or like let's verify basically if we are on the page so we are verifying basically the um the the navigation structure so what you can do here is you type assert visible let's say we verify home let's speed up things here copy paste copy paste so we check categories and we check for contact just a little verification that you're really on that page and then we go back to the command line interface we run it you can see like how fast it is calling the app checking the navigation and voila we are done we passed the scripts now let's click on something so we put like over here we say tap on what is it tap on uh sign in sign in so we do this there. so we click on the, the sign in button over here little baby steps debugging it or executing it right away so we're verifying you can see it clicked already on the sign it's too fast already so you can pause the video for a second to see or like to, to slow down the, the execution but you can you get direct feedback over here it says okay we tapped the sign in button and then what we can do is uh, we can like let's go here for a second we let's we are on this page we click now the login button to verify the error cases so what we are going to do is we say tap on then we use the identifier which is login so we press the login and then we can do again the um as a visibility oops that was wrong like this we verify email is required we copy paste this one as well and then we say what's called password is required we save we hit the run the run command again so and as you can see we're opening up we're verifying the structure we are clicking the login button we have verified the uh the, the error messages and voila we're done so and then i would say in under two or three minutes we were just checking really fast and super easy with some simple easy tasks the um email and password required field how cool is that basically so and as you can see that's the simplicity of maestro installing is super fast and also executing your uh, simple tests is also pretty fast too however there's one more cool thing in case you are too lazy in let's let's assume like writing all the step definitions or like the steps that i did before what you can do you can use a maestro studio for that so when we go back to maestro over here it says you can use maestro studio this is basically the command we're going to execute and you will see a really cool thing as well so what's going to happen in a few seconds 
Maestro will open up the Maestro Studio for you. As you can see here, it adds like a, um, the, the, it's calling the Maestro homepage. And what I did before, I tried it out myself. It's really cool. So you will, but we can also get, get rid of this one. So we can basically do what we have done before manually with Maestro Studio. And it's basically it's what you see is what you get editor. So we are calling the URL. So we say open the link and as you can see, you get a live preview of your software under test. And then we say, okay, we click on the, let's just do the same thing. We do like home, you click on the element, and then you get like um, already like predefined examples, what you can do. Either say to tap on it, you can play it to see what's going to happen. You can take a look at the code. You can copy paste it over, you can tap the uh, read the documentation. You can do some assertions. So we do like this, assert visible, and we say, yes, we would like to do that. Then we would like to do the same thing for categories. Yes, we would like to do that. Then we would like to verify the contacts. Yes, we're going to do that. Then we are tapping on sign in. So we say, okay, tap on sign in. Uh, yes, this is the one we would like to do. Then we are on the this page, exactly. Then what we have done, we tapped on the, uh, the login button. So we go here, tap on ID login, and then we tapped, you can see, we are verifying email is required. So we do this, and we do this. So we have done basically the same thing with Maestro Web Studio, like the commands over here, like I've done before manually. So and then we can go back to the page, and then we can say select all and click the play button. So we click it, as you can see, it's doing the exact same stuff that I have done before in a what you see is what you get editor format. And to be honest, from my point of view, that is pretty cool. What are your thoughts about it? And that's basically the video for today. Simple, fast and easy how tools should be the latest update for Maestro Studio. If, have, if you haven't done before, you haven't tried it out before, now it's your chance. If you don't have access to a mobile device or you don't have a, a, a Windows, not under Windows, like an Android emulator installed or you have, don't have an iPhone simulator, it's your chance to play around with Maestro on web. Give it a try and lead, let me know down below in the comments what you think about it. I would love to hear from you. And also important, as you have seen, Maestro uh, for web is in beta status right now. In case you see some flaws, some hiccups, feel free to send the developers a feedback. They will appreciate it. And that's it for today. Thanks for coming by and see you next time. Bye bye.